Hello everyone, uh, this is Ankur from Exchange Union and I will be demonstrating atomic swaps between two different trading nodes. So uh, first thing first, you need to have either Parity or Go Ethereum installed in the system. As uh, you can see that I have Parity client up and running. Uh, and the uh, second thing, you gotta make sure that you have Robston testnet completely synced uh, in your system. Uh, I am I'm using Google Cloud instance, uh, so I'm SSHing into it from my terminal. Uh, other than that, you have to uh, also make sure that you are actually syncing Robston testnet and not on the mainnet because Raiden is deployed on a testnet, whereas the micro Raiden uh, is deployed on mainnet. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so you can see that I have like two web UIs here running. First web UI is of uh, first Raiden node, which is here, and second web UI is of second Raiden node, which is running on 5005 port. Uh, the first web UI is running on 5001 port. And uh, before I actually execute the swap, uh, I would like you guys to look at the channel balance right now on both of these channels. Uh, on my first trading road, I have a custom token that has that I have deployed on Robston Net. Uh, it has a zero balance, and it ha and the other token we have is called Petcoin. And my first trading node has 10,000 of those Bitcoin tokens. Uh, on my second trading node, I have 10,000 of these OXE6 custom token and zero of the Bitcoin ones. So we will be executing a swap so that we will be sending one uh, Bitcoin from this node to here and one custom token from second node to the first one. So to initiate the swap, it's, it's actually pretty simple. You go to the token tab and here is the swap token. Uh, you know a button you press that and you can either choose a role of maker or taker basically in a radio network a maker call has to be carried out before the taker call gets called so uh, I choose to be a maker call I change my partner address which is going to the address of my second radio node which is here I will choose some trivial identifiers uh, I will choose the amount of token that I want to send uh, I want to send pet coins here like this and sending amount is one of the bitcoins and i want to receive a custom token named oxe6 yeah do i take this right yeah this one and i will also receive like one of the osc token and then i copy this taker string which will make it very easy to auto complete in my second you will see that and i initiate the swap here like this on my second radar node i go to the same channel i click on the swap button and i take the taker rule and I paste the taker string here and you will see it will sort of like out of the uh, all the required subfields. So the partner address is the address of my first node. The identifier is 1337. That's how the reader node will know uh, that it, uh, you know both both at, or at the same time. And sending token is the token that I want to send which is just sort of like reverse the whole one uh, we were doing on the main, uh, on uh, our first reader node. And the receiving token is Bitcoin, and one is the sending and receiving and all. And here I finalize the circle swap for the handshake. I do it here. Uh, in the web UI, it takes a bit, sort of like to update the web UI, but you can see in the console uh, that the message has been received and has log has been confirmed of amount one, and in the second node as well. So we'll wait for the channel balance to be updated in both the web UIs. And you can see right now that the channel balance is actually updated and we have like one uh, first reader node has one of the custom token and one of the Bitcoin is substituted which is now being swapped uh, to the second reader node which has one of the Bitcoins and 9999 of ERC token. So to summarizing that uh, it is actually very uh, you know, one of the main ideas that is thrown around to solve the scalability issue that we have with uh, Ethereum Net right now, along with a lot of other ones like sharding and stuff. And we are very excited about this technology at Exchange Union, and we plan to be cooperating with BrainBot and other teams developing Radiant Network to make it more feasible and usable for us. So, thank you.